In this forsaken town of Whispering Hills, I find solace amidst the fumes that rise from the fuel. The world around me crumbles, but the intoxicating scent keeps me drifting, floating on a haze of ethereal delight. A wretched existence, perhaps, but it serves as my refuge from the encroaching darkness. As twilight descends upon this desolate land, hallucinations dance before my weary eyes. Ravens, black as night, perch upon the rusty signs, cawing their mournful laments. Their crooked beaks and penetrating gazes speak of a deep as if they hold the secrets of this damned place within their ebony feathers. Shadow figures, elusive and sinister, slither in the corners of my vision. They whisper in twisted tongues, their voices merging with the wind's mournful howls. Are they spectres born from the depths of my own fractured mind, or denizens of this cursed realm? I know not, but their presence unsettles my very soul. <clears throat> I find solace in the fumes that fill this forsaken gas station, for they transport me to realms beyond reality. The intoxication heightens my senses, blurring the line between waking and dreaming. It is through this haze that I glimpse fragments of forgotten truths, obscured by the fog that blankets this state. In this state of altered perception, I commune with the spirits of Whispering Hills. They whisper secrets, fragments of ancient knowledge into the recesses of my muddled mind. Their cryptic messages intertwine with the crackling of the fume and flames, revealing glimpses of the town's unholy origins and the darkness that now engulfs it. Yet. Yeah. As I lose myself in this intoxicating fog, I wonder if I have become a captive of my own vices. Have I succumbed to the silent song of the fuel's embrace, blinding myself to the true horrors that surround me? Perhaps this refuge I seek is nothing more than an illusion, a delusion woven by the spirit hands that control this forsaken realm. The lines between reality and hallucination blur with each passing day. I no longer know if the ravens and the shadow figures are figments of my own twisted imagination or manifestations of the town's malevolent essence. But one thing remains clear. <laughs> I am ensnared. Hey, you! Please, help me, I'm desperate, I swear! I mean you no harm. Please, help me as one parent to another. How do you know my father? Who are you? Right now, I'm just a father trying to find his daughter. Okay, you have my attention. Please get to the point. Okay, hear me out. I know you came out of that fault. In fact, I've been trying to get in there for a very long time. Like, you've been watching me? Yes, I'm sorry. I mean, you're in trouble, of course. However... Look, my name is Harry Manson. It's been over 12 years now since some religious fanatics kidnapped out of my dog. Ever since that day in Commonwealth. The Commonwealth has changed. This fog, this silence, and, well, the darkness. Don't misunderstand me. The Commonwealth is no spring chicken. But this fog is in radiation. 
And the abominations that parade through the streets are not mutated. I don't know how much they taught you in that vault, but I doubt there's a manual for this. That's horrifying. These wackos took my Sean? Yes, I'm afraid so. But I know where they took him. I've been tracking these cult members for a long time, mostly waiting for them to make a move. Now they've stolen a baby from this vault and spoke to some unholy marriage. Probably some prophecy. I don't care. The sons of bitches took my child and yours to the Dunwich Forest, a monument of the old world's greed. Wait, before you go, you must understand something. You're looking for a door. Maybe just a hole in the ground, but you'll know it when you get there. Behind that door is a place called Whispering Hills. I've spied on these cult members for a while. I don't know much, but I've overheard them speak to follow the clues of the light. Apparently, they were talking about bringing them to this place called Whispering Hills. They also mumbled something about a dream world since, but I don't honestly know what they meant. I don't know how much of that I believe, but I'll go through this whispering hill and see for myself. I'm afraid you need to trust me a little. You're the only connection to my daughter right now. Please help me. Who knows what these crazy people will do if they have their way. Alright, I'll head out and see what I can see. Thank you so, so much. Do you need to know anything else? I should go. Please, be careful. The darkness will come again shortly.